So the uh, number one thing to uh, notice is the live tile. So as you just look at your screen, new information is coming up. Um, in the travel app, it's showing me uh, Budapest. The Bing app is showing me a bunch of good pictures. The news app is actually showing me the top story today. So the sides of our machines are reserved for system gestures. So coming in from the right side, allows me to see the charms. And these are search, share, start devices and settings that we talked about earlier. On the left side, uh, you can see all the apps that are running in with a motion that is going back and forth like that. If you want to switch quickly between the apps that are running, you can actually just do this gesture over and over and you will just go through the apps that you have running on the machine. With the same gesture, what you can also do is bring in an app to be snapped. What that looks like is you start bringing the app in and when you see the screen being snapped, you can just drop it and now you have two apps running at the same time. This is truly multitasking. When you move it, you can keep focus in one app and the other app snaps to the side. And that's a really powerful way of um, doing two things at the same time. And you can now bring in other apps and you'll see that the one snapped remains the same. Going back, the, the one last thing that I want to talk about is app bars. And what these are, are ways that you can interact with the content that you're looking at. So in the Bing News app, you can actually bring by swiping from the top or swiping from the bottom, you can bring the app bars. The top is reserved for navigating, so you can go to the different parts of the app. And the bottom of the um, app is uh, reserved for contextual, so if I'm in an if I'm in a uh, news item, I can actually bring it and uh, you, as you can see, I can do change the text size, make it larger, I can change the text style, I can go to next article or previous article. And one of these uh, charms that, uh, that we talked about is share, where I can actually share anything that I want to as long as the app supports it. And I can share it to a mail, a social network, anything that the user wants. It's really built and um, as uh, Stephen and Steve Ballmer said, uh, there is uh, more than 600 million PCs that are on Windows 7 logo program that can run Windows 8 beautifully that you can upgrade uh, to Windows 8 with. Those usually have keyboard and mice. And the great thing is the corners are alive with mouse as well. So let's start with the scrolling. Like I'm, I can do this, I can also do the same thing with my mouse. Also, um, remember we um, used to bring up the features uh, or the running apps by these? I can just put my mouse all the way to the bottom. And, uh, see you tonight. And um, if I bring it down and up, I can now see the same uh, list of apps that I had. Charms are the same way. If I take my mouse all the way at the end and go up, I can bring up the charms. And because we've spent tremendous amounts of time um, working on making both keyboard, mouse, and touch great, I can do the app bar, for instance, in Internet Explorer by right-clicking and then switching there. And the moment I want to focus on what I'm doing, I can just click and it's a full screen view.